I'm Andrew for Andrew Talks. I'm ready to talk and I hope you're ready to listen, pen in hand. Here we go. Top story of the evening. Wanted to give a shout out and a well done to Christine Lagarde of IMF. She took over for Strauss Khan. You remember Strauss Khan from a previous Andrew Talks episode. That's right. She took over starting uh, this week. I just wanted to say congratulations to her. And you know what they say, that old expression. Don't send an old, dirty man who chases maids for sex to do a woman's job. Shout out to you, Christine. Congratulations. And honestly, how could you mess it up? Really? You'll be fine. You'll be fine. Best of luck. Best of luck to you. Moving on to couples news. Couples news, that's right. I just wanted to say there's no such thing as an ugly bride. And America Ferreira was certainly one beautiful bride as she wed her longtime boyfriend at her good friend Vanessa Williams' house over in New York. I hope it was a wonderful time, America. I, I'm sure it was. I'm sure it's beautiful. Can't wait to see the photos and people or us or Star or whatever, wherever you want to put the, We want to see the photos, America. We want to see the photos. We want to see the cake and everything. Good luck to you. Happy wedding. Happy wedding. Unfortunately, when a couple gets together, somewhere a couple must break up. And ladies, George Clooney is once again single. I know. I know, you can't control yourselves. And maybe, maybe he's looking for you, or maybe not. All I'm saying is, George, this is the second girl in three award seasons. Get it together. What is it going to take? You had a beautiful American girl. Then you got an Italian girl. I mean, you only have so many continents left. I mean, where else are you going to go? Antarctica don't got no women, George. Get yourself together. Find the lady for you. And if you think you are the lady for George Clooney, like my best friend Danielle. You can reach us at Andrew Talks. Or, George, if you would like my best friend Danielle's number, I can give it to you. It is five. Nah, call me, George, and I'll give you the number. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I certainly will. I certainly will. Moving on, I have to mention my Andrew Shoutout of the Week. Um, after I had mentioned Hong Kong Bistro, their sales went up a staggering, staggering 1%. And so many other companies and franchises and restaurants were trying to get me to do an Andrew shout out for them. And I said, hey, hey, I choose who I want to choose. But it's gotten so out of control. So, just it's just crazy. It's just crazy the feedback I received uh, because of the Andrew shout out that I have decided to go into hiding. That's right. Go into hiding to do my next Andrew shout out, which you will see momentarily. Please understand it is to protect the innocent. But please listen to the Andrew shout out and make sure you follow what I say. Because honestly, it is one of the best Andrew shout outs I have done thus far. Since I have only done two, I can say that this one is something special. Joe, you ready to roll it? We're going to roll it for you, right? Thank you, Joe. Joe, Joe Joe's part of the crew. Joe's going to roll it right now. Please enjoy Andrew shout out of the week. Hey my friends, it's Andrew from Andrew Talks, and I had an Andrew shout out and I had to share it with you. I'm here on my patio. Okay, it's really my fire escape. But my shout out is, have you visited your farmer's market recently? I think you should. Why? Because they have $2 kettle corn. Let me tell you, it was delicious. I also got a $3 pupusa. Yes, that's a pupusa. You heard me, Oklahoma, a pupusa. And uh, I would show you that, but it's in my stomach already. It's delicious. You get to visit your neighbors and you get to help out your local community with the farmers and all that good stuff. So visit your farmer's market. It's the Andrew shout out of the week. You know you should. I gotta get to my kettle. This Sunday was the BET Awards. And let me tell you something, it was horrible. And why was it horrible, you ask? Was it because they didn't have enough stars? Maybe. Was it because the performances weren't good? Perhaps. Or was it because they totally made a mockery the worst Lifetime Achievement Award display I have ever seen in my life. It was the worst. And who was it for? My beloved Patti LaBelle. That's right. I am angry about it, BET. I am so upset about it that I am asking you to redo it. That's right. You heard me. For 2012 BET Awards, I want the Lifetime Achievement Award to be Patti LaBelle again. And this time, get some singers who actually know what they're doing. CeeLo. This was not an SNL skit. You look a dang fool. You hear me? A dang fool. Don't ever do that again. That was rude and uncalled for. Marsha Ambrosia, formerly of Floetry, 
you did a lovely job, you look gorgeous, the voice was beautiful. Now, this next person who got up on stage, now if you haven't seen it, please go on the BET.com or watch it on BET, because you don't want to miss what I saw. Uh, and I know you're not supposed to speak ill of people who take care of God's house, but Pastor Shirley Caesar, you look like Cinderella up there, and it was a hot mess. I'm so sorry to say that. And you have the audacity to sing, you are my friend. Where was your friend who helped you pick out your outfit? Oh, you looked horrible. You looked like you had just stepped off a Mardi Gras, Mardi Gras cart festival. Oh my gosh, it was horrible. Horrible. You look like you stepped right off a Mardi Gras float. Please, don't ever wear that again. She looked like an ice skater going to a quinceanera. That's right, I said it. It was so bad. It was so bad that the crew and I said, how much worse could it get? The crew even said, heck, Andrew from Andrew Talks, you can do better than that. So, I am challenging you all. Please watch the CeeLo performance, that SNL spoof of a performance. And then, watch, please, for your viewing pleasure, watch my performance and tell me what you think. Um, if you think it's better, let me know. If you think I have some few things to work on, keep that to yourself. But for this evening, something a little extra special. Here is myself performing one of my favorite Patti LaBelle songs. I hope you enjoy. All right, I hope you had a great night, great morning with me here on Andrew Talks. You know, whatever you do, just make it great. I'm going to see you next time. Much love to you all. Mwah. Bye, y'all.